Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Team Pajamas. We've got my, well, one of my DIY mugs, stickers courtesy of Spooky Cat Press, and yes, I bought them. It says Deadly Nightshade, and I have Drink Up Witches, because the tea is Chai Put a Spell on You by Brutality. This is one of the ones I bought, the second bunch that I bought. Yes, I just fresh out of the shower, too. I was looking a little bit like a sea hag here. That was on that kind of just sort of happened as far as that wasn't meant to fit the theme and I've got a little munchkin down here don't shake the table it's hot tea okay All right, we've got chai put a spell on you by brutalities again black tea cinnamon bark ginger root dried coconut cardamom lemongrass and natural coconut flavor you use one to one and a half teaspoons per eight ounces of water and you steep that for three to four minutes at 195 this is what it looks like. A lot of big bits in there. It's um, I've tried this in a tea ball, and I tried it this time. I'm trying it in a tiesta. Well, trying it, tried steeping it in a tiesta tea bag for loose tea. Little one, I'm... please. We're making a video here. Okay. Give this a smell. I can smell the cinnamon and the cardamom and the lemongrass in the background just a little bit. The first time I had this, it mostly tasted tasted like a green curry, like a Thai green curry. Mostly, the first cup I've tried of this, taste you know all I could taste was the lemongrass mainly and coconut with just a little bit of cardamom and cinnamon on the back side. Hopefully I can give you a better give you a, a better take on this and give you a good review. Isn't definitely tasting the cardamom and the cinnamon. And the cardamom is what helps make the chai flavor. And yes we've got a clawed critter on the couch here. So yes, this is tasting a little bit more like chai this time. This is much better. It kind of depends on the spoonfuls, spoonful or spoonfuls you get coming out of the bag, what you're going to get as far as flavor. This is definitely reminiscent of a chai as opposed to a green curry. It would be a good tea for a cold day. It's cool outside and sunny. Yesterday it was cloudy. And it looked like it might rain, but it didn't as far as I can tell. I was going to watch Legends of the Traveling Tardis last night, but it said it was canceled. And then this morning I was poking around on YouTube and I noticed that they did go ahead and put up a video an episode of their podcast anyway, because the idea was to help track Ian and Fiona, the Hurricanes. So um, it was supposed to make landfall as of when the video actually was recorded with their live podcast, was live streaming podcast last night. Um, usually they go from 5.30 or 6 to about 7 or 8, and they didn't, apparently it didn't start until about 7 or 8. But I was already in bed by then because I was just exhausted. So hopefully they're doing well and they aren't without power. Hopefully it's it weakened to a tropical storm as it went over. So if you have friends in or relatives and or relatives in Florida, um, check on them if you can and make sure they're okay. Also, if you know anybody in Puerto Rico. Cuba, that general area, anywhere in there, if you can, you know, if you can get in contact with them, give it a try. They, you may not be able to in some places because 
Melina Vader, uh, one of the members of the Traveling TARDIS, is able to send out messages, but isn't able to receive them. So keep sending messages. If you're sending messages to people in Puerto Rico, please keep sending them. They, in some places, they may, you know, they may or may not be able to get them. But just don't, you know, don't give up. Just please keep trying. And I hope I hope they all stay safe. I have family, specifically my elder son and his girlfriend in Pittsburgh. Usually by the time it hits up that way, it's downgraded to a tropical storm. And those tropical storms can either be mild or severe as well, depending on their area. So I hope Ed and Ava st stay safe. And Baby, if they still have her. So stay safe, guys. back to the chai. Um, is this one's got a lot of coconut in it? I don't usually think of coconut in a chai. If you're putting coconut milk in it, possibly. And again, that's part of what gave it the Thai green, uh, green, green curry flavor the first time I tried it was, again, like I said, the combination of the lemongrass, and coconut. So this tastes, this go around this cup is tasting more like a chai. However, the coconut to me does not say chai. I don't usually have coconut in my chai. But it is a lot closer to a chai. Um, it's not, is it my favorite? Out of all of the ones I've tried so far, um, no, it's not my favorite. Will I keep drinking it? Yes, I'll keep drinking it. I will use it till it's gone, but it's not my most favorite, mainly because to me, the coconut does not sell the chai flavor to me. To me, uh, coconut does not belong in a chai. That's just my personal opinion, but it is good. And when you can get a cupful that's got more of the cardamom and cinnamon, then it tastes more like a chai to me as does this cup, but the pre other cup, like I said, it was, it was more like a green curry. Um, what do I have going on? Not much. I have this video that I'm going to be putting up soon within anywhere from one to three days. <coughs> oh, excuse me because I try, I'm trying to do a couple, still trying to do a couple videos a week. So I'll be looking for this one soon. Uh, Halloween hauls. Mm -hmm. I might try to squeeze in another one. I'm not sure. Like I said, there are a couple of places I want to revisit with my friend Marlene. But because I have expenses coming up because of my cat, I might not be able to do that. So stay tuned if I am able to budget another Halloween haul, I will do that. And if not, unfortunately, you will have to wait till another time and hopefully maybe I can get some things on sale if there's anything left. So, that's it for that. Um, the beast is attacking. We Stay calm. Be nice. Be nice. Ouch. Well, I better go. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you would like to see more in your inbox. Keep the Halloween coming. Again, if I have time and budget for more Halloween things, I will. Um, take turns driving the hearse. And I'll see you guys next time.